I'm really excited to be here with this group. And uh, I can feel the, when I spoke with Kyle the other day, the frequency of the group and what has been created here and what you're stepping into. Um, and um, this is a different kind of, you know, usually when we gather or if I'm gonna to speak to a group or something, it's not, we don't do that kind of an induction. You know, I, I'll, I'll guide people through an induction. There's not a lot of people willing to go that deep and sit with themselves and explore um, a higher dimension of themselves because there's a lot that comes up in the process of moving into that. You know, even just boredom is one major obstacle, but what happens when we go inside is we meet our pain, our fear, our hopelessness, our grief. There are a lot of deep energies that are shifting out of the collective but when we do do this, um, it's the most powerful thing we can do because it accesses us to who we really are and the power and the infinite self. So as a doctor, um, this has not been part of the mainstream medical conversation, maybe at all, or to, a, to maybe a 2% degree, but it's kind of like a after we've tried everything, maybe you should go meditate. Just an afterthought. But very few doctors actually embody the presence that allows that transmutation to happen that we call healing. And <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to share today, um, you know, we're in the middle of this massive overhaul, which is really allowing a new world to be created. And if we have courage to step into it, to go in and listen and let something deeper emerge, it's beautiful. This experience right now is beautiful. Not after things, the dust settles and a new structure emerges, but now. And so that the message I wanted to share today is you're invited to access this right now and you are a creator you're creating right now in this moment and in every moment, the new world, the new reality, the new planet. One of the things that Kyle said in the induction was about, um, I don't remember the exact words, but it was about going, going within and finding surrender. And we get so distracted from what's outside of us, especially when there's fear of what's falling away. You know, oh my gosh, what about my money? What about my job? What about this person? I'm fearing for my life or someone else's life. So much is changing so fast. And many of us who are here uh, or listening to this on the recording have been aware of this for maybe quite a long time, maybe your whole life. And it can be hard on the front end of that when you don't necessarily see that the change is happening or that you make sense and how you function makes sense or who you are even makes sense. And so it might have been a long, lonely journey to come to this point to be like, I don't fit into that reality. I don't function in that reality. How do I make myself function in reality? What's wrong with me? And maybe, you know, um, Prozac or, or, you know, like, uh, let me try some alcohol, drugs, or medication. What can I do to escape or addiction of any kind? But when you find that that doesn't really create joy or what, what you want, um, you have to break through. You have to actually meet that pain more deeply and begin to believe that there's something higher possible, that maybe there is a world for you. Maybe there is a space for you. Maybe the way you function does make sense. I know that was true for me. And especially in, in my career in medicine, I knew like, this is part of my journey, but what am I really here to do? This isn't alive enough for me. There's not enough me coming through in the equation of being a, a doctor in the emergency room, but I couldn't really see what a world would look like that did fit my gifts, my talents, my strengths, and my true self. So I had to spend a lot, a lot of time being willing to go within and withdraw my attention from the outer in order to let something shift. That is the, that's the key. If I can begin to put attention, because where your 
attention goes, your energy flows. I've seen this in mind body medicine with the chemical changes, the hormonal changes, the physical changes in the body that mirror a shift in focus and attention. If I focus on, you know, like we did in the induction of joy or love or compassion, immediately there are chemical changes in the body. Immediately there are cellular changes, neuron firing in the brain. And one of the really important pieces that hasn't come into a lot of um, mainstream awareness is that there are very powerful electromagnetic changes. This is and has been seen to be the most powerful thing that affects the body, the health, healing. And that's a big part of where I went from like having this autoimmune disease to being completely disease free no pain, no fatigue, nothing. But I embraced it before I understood it. Had to, I couldn't understand it and then embrace it. And this is the part of the journey that can be so tricky for so many of us. We want to understand, understand, understand. We got to learn, we got to learn. It can't be done. You've got to actually step into something higher before your brain and the technology of your body can compute it or see it out there. My, my work changed, my body changed, my relationships changed, my money changed, boom, 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 boom. But I had to step into something in here first. And so that's the invitation is to remember that your system is creative. It, it creates it for you. And to ignite that, withdraw the attention and focus from the outer that seems quote unquote, real, stagnant, solid, and put it into the space of presence within. Super simple. Like what? That doesn't, what's, what? That's not real. That's, what is she talking about? Or I'm bored or this is a waste of my time. And then we go back to fixing the outer. But if you even just shift this 2%, 2% more willingness to presence the inner, you start the journey of this massive unthinkable change, Ma unthinkable change. Like we just had like I, <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars within like four minutes <laughs> from this to this, like boom, Be because I was willing to get, my husband and I were in a conversation with our accountant. We were willing to get into a higher energy. <laughs> and I asked, what if, what if this were not like that? What if, Maybe this was like a big mistake. And what if she told us this instead? And I felt the, the lightness of it. Like, oh my God, it'd be amazing. And then my mind was like, yeah, but that's not what's happening. And it was like, well, let me just soften around that conclusion just a little. And like within four minutes, the whole story changed. And it was like, yeah. So, so I'm welcoming very subtle things like that into my life every day. But it is still a miracle. And so, you know, earlier on, it was like, whoa, it's very mind blowing and it can be very destabilizing. And we've got to meet the fear of that. And that's what's happening in the collective right now. The old world is falling away. The old structures are falling away. The old systems are falling away that probably everyone in this room has known all along on some level, this isn't working. This isn't fluid for me. This can't be my real world. But then we maybe doubt ourselves and think, oh, how do I fix the problem of me so I can fit into what people are telling me is the real world? But you knew, like, this doesn't make sense that we do our educational system like this. This doesn't make sense that our financial system is like this. This doesn't make sense that our medical system is so limited, only functioning in the physical. But how do we let something new get created? So that's what's falling away. It's like all these old structures. And if I'm anchored in that, I'm gonna feel pain, I'm gonna feel fear, I'm gonna feel loss, I'm gonna feel grief. This is devastating, this is the worst thing that could have ever happened. But if I remember like, whoa, what if there's something else? What if I'm an infinite being having a physical experience? And what if I just soften 2% around that fear and let in a little stillness? Soften 2% and just relax my body. It's all you need to do. Now I access the infinite self. I, I had a great, 
analogy for this presented for me in the, a book called the, um, the inner game of tennis. I was, you know, I'm coming back out east for the summer and my family's a big tennis family and we grew up on a club and I play tennis with my sister and brother because that's what they do all the time. And I'm like, I suck at tennis. I hate playing tennis, but I really wish I was good at tennis. So um, I know this on some level, like if I could let go, my inner tennis master could emerge and like actually hit the ball. So I started um, working with a coach a few weeks back and I've played a lot in my life, but I'm like, let me brush myself up. And he actually re recommended this book. So I started reading this book and um, I'm going to actually give you the author just because I don't want to not give credit to this person who's so genius and so brilliant. And everything he said was like, that's the same dimension on which I've been functioning in my work. There's self one and self two. And self one is like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Why did I hit the ball like that? I suck. Oh, I'm such a loser. Come on, get it together. Self one is, oh my God, I did an awesome shot. I'm great. There's judgment. There's good and bad. There's duality. Self one, you, you'd have to micromanage 50 billion things. Like what's happening in my deltoid? to hit the right forehand and what's happening in my traps, what's happening in my legs. There's like a billion things. And if self one had to like memorize all these and get it right, you'd never get there. What happens is self one lets self two take over. And self two is your infinite self who knows exactly how to hit the right forehand. So it lands exactly where you wanted to place it, but you've got to let go to let that inner wisdom of the body that does know exactly how much contraction in your for, you know, your, your bicep, exactly how much relaxation in your tricep, exactly what position your arm swing is at, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the thing that he found to coach people through this was awareness. And this is when all the magic bells and whistles went off for me as I was audio reading the book. That's what I've shared in medicine. If you are aware of your pain, if you are aware of your anger, if you are aware of your, um, What's under that fatigue? What is that fatigue that you're trying to escape actually bringing up? Go into it. Get curious. Look. That just the awareness creates a powerful shift in your body that ignites healing. And I've seen it a billion times. I've experienced it myself. And I write about it for 20 or 30 years studying this stuff. It's so simple. So if I can be aware of what is, <laughs> there's a transmutation because my awareness is that powerful. And so to access what he calls self to, what I call the infinite self or your higher self or your wisdom. So surrender, <laughs> allowing, relax the body even just 2%, breathe more deeply go within and listen, any one of those things, automatically self one, which is programs, belief systems, mind, identity, judgment, assumptions, conclusions, and like everything you grew up with or were conditioned in that you could spend 30 years in therapy over, that's there. Okay, here we have it. And then I'm like swimming in the world of trying to fix that. Maybe my diet, maybe my nutrition, maybe it's my relationships, maybe blah, 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 blah. But there is a power I can access that lets that transmute, that lets that dissolve, that literally allows new brain connections, new cellular energy, vitality, healing on every level of every disease known to man, period, the end not a theory actually shown in science. That is something actually shown in science. And then we access this self too, who does know <laughs> that is, is creative because your electromagnetic body, your, your body is electromagnetic. It emits energy that we can measure. And that signal creates, it changes the arrangement of like the molecules and the atoms around your people's, other people's emotions and how they feel, what they say, what they do. Do they access their genius and show up or do they, you know, they're just totally disconnected and you're like, wow, 
just wake up. I need my partner to wake up. I need my partner to change and then I'll be happy. I need a new job. Well, forget changing anything out there. It, you can access it here. That's how powerful the electromagnetics are. Your body is emitting a, a signal. And this inner self, higher self, wisdom, it comes through you, not from you. There's power, like unbelievable power. And just know like it goes beyond anything you can imagine. So it's okay that it seems impossible, whatever, whatever self one is dealing with. It's connected to all that is, everyone, everything, everywhere. And it already knows <laughs> what's required, what you need, what will bring the most joy into your life. And sometimes those are things that self one thinks are the wrong things. Self one like, oh no, this is not supposed to be happening. This is not, this relationship's not supposed to be ending. This job is not supposed to be going this way. The world's not supposed to be falling apart. So in all the ways you've resisted what's happening now, whatever that may be, what's happening now, I feel pain. What's happening now, I'm depressed. What's happening now, I can't go to work. I lost my job. My lover left me. COVID happened, blah, 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 blah. And all the ways I resist it, I block self too from coming through and doing the miraculous. So the invitation today is to remember who you are and like open that 2% to make space for it. So relax your body, breathe more fully. Just that simple thing. Let go of be positive because that's duality. That's I'm trying to escape my pain. <laughs> Every positive, it's two sides of the same coin. It's going to come back as a, oh, the other shoe dropped or the negative thing happened or you're, you can only fight so long. Life is not a fight. So self one, self two. And then that in between is like, how do I access this? Surrender, allow, relax, listen, go in, breathe more fully. So all this like, BS stuff that you're like, that's airy, fairy, fluffy. I've got to deal with the real thing. <laughs> Is the power. It's like unthinkably powerful. So if you are willing to sit through the shit that will come up when you do go in, it will dissolve and something deeper emerges, more power, more light, more healing, more wisdom, more aha, more stuff happening for me. And like um, my friend here who has written this book, Timothy Galloway, <laughs> The Inner Game of Tennis. But then he wrote like the inner game of golf. And then it was like the inner game of everything. I would imagine that the books are really great as well. Um, but like he says, you do already have this. Your body can learn so fast. Your system is pure intelligence. It can learn and recalibrate and get on the track of like, whoa, now my electromagnetics are creating this amazing life. Are healing my cells, are healing my body, are bringing resources I didn't know existed are aligning right relationships, are aligning synchronicities, are guiding me to an idea. Oh, turn left here now. Go to that coffee shop. <laughs> so I, I was on the path of self one to like a certain degree that kind of mucked it up sometimes. Oh, I can't go do that. I have to do this. I have to work hard. I have to buckle in. I have to blah, 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 blah. And about Three years ago now, I guess it was, I, um, you know, every day is a new expansion. But this day, it was like, Kim, stop working, stop doing it this way. Get out and go sit in the sauna, go to the spa, look at the mountains, 
and I knew it was the right thing. And I had transmuted enough of that fear that I could actually choose it. And it was uncomfortable, but it wasn't excruciating. Year before that, it would have been like, ah, oh, no, no, no. This idea that I need to wait to live that lifestyle where I could sit at two o'clock on a Tuesday in the jacuzzi and look at the mountains. I, no, 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 I have to get this, this, and this, and this, and this first. Then I'll have that. But it's never, life is never going to ask you to wait for peace and harmony, to choose what's, what's peaceful and harmonic for me right now. So I did. I stopped working, I mean, maybe like 50% as much work. And I, I sat there. I did a video on this too. It's on my YouTube channel way back. And within days, I created my Embracing Health program, which is a, a different structure of how I'm assisting people through this expansion. Super fluid for me, and they receive way more. So that structure got created, like within very short time, <laughs> download. And within a couple of weeks after, I don't know how many years of, I wanted to get pregnant with a second child, I spontaneously became pregnant. <laughs> I had no idea because I, I wasn't paying any attention to any of this. And I had already kind of thought like, that can't happen. I'm done. But boom, without trying I mean, it wasn't completely spontaneous. Like there was a partner involved and stuff, but it wasn't, <laughs> it was just out of nowhere. Um, and I do remember the moment of such a profound surrender into like the deepest serenity and love I've ever experienced. And that is the energy of my little son. He is so, so much sweetness. So my life changed profoundly, but it was a big invitation of like, I needed to create it first. I needed to step into it first before it could show up in my life. There's no way my body would have gotten pregnant that fluidly after being told by doctors, like you have, you know, a 13% chance that you would ever conceive naturally and carry a pregnancy to term. And I was like, oh, like delete, 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 delete. <laughs> I know what else could be possible. But surrender was, was really, you know, that's a huge key, especially for people who maybe know stories about fertility, how powerful surrender is. So that's your, that's your access point in every moment. In this moment right now, as I sit, relax my shoulders, breathe more fully. I'm still here. I'm just doing it differently. And in bigger moments of, oh, should I leave that job? Should I change this relationship? Should I move <laughs> into a different place? Those seem like bigger choices, but it's the same choice. Will I choose what's harmonic for me? Well, I've got to look. <laughs> so soften your body and you'll see more and it will guide you. So let's do this and create what this world can really be for, for ourselves individually and for humanity collectively. Who's in? <laughs> this quantum healing collective has a lot of power and it's at a very high vibration. So it has the ability to contribute to each of us. Yeah, thank you, Kim. That was, uh, that was fantastic. And I was thinking as you were going along, like you literally are describing the science and energy behind our meeting format. So thank you for doing that on such a high level. Um, you did so good. That was, that was incredible. And uh, one thing that was really cool is my mantra when I play tennis, I actually play tennis, is I say before every game, power versus force. And I learned that from Kristen, but I, I turn my will over to that higher power before every single game. And I let it flow through me. And when I do that, I'm really good. <laughs> but when I go into that monkey mind, it's, it's like that million different, you know, thoughts that are controlling me. Um, so I, I appreciate that. Uh, you did fantastic. We'll open that, it up. <laughs> that's the difference between trying to play tennis and yeah. playing tennis. And for, for me in that, that journey with the illness, it was trying to heal myself versus allowing myself to be healed. That was 100% why it was such a fast shift. Yeah, yeah, and I've, I've also been studying a lot. Like Joe Dispenza talks about it, um, Brian Scott talks about it, but how just there's an 
each atom has electrons, you know, and the electrons, when they're not observed by a human, collapse into infinite possibilities. And when we look at that electron, it collapses into however we're observing it. So when I learned that, it was basically like, I create the reality that I want. And if I'm going to be grateful, I'm going to get a grateful reality. If I'm going to be upset, I'm going to get an upset reality. So that whole science that you just talked about is really why, you know, we start each meeting off by trying to become the best versions of ourselves. And then we invite somebody on who's going to talk about us becoming the best version of ourselves. And you just did such a good job of explaining that. It was really meaningful to me. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You did a great job with the induction because a lot of what I'm saying can't be heard from the space most people are at, the mindset and consciousness they're at. They're like, huh? Mm. Or they wouldn't even show up because they'd be like, I'm not going to do that airy, fairy, fluffy thing. So what allows us to come into a space where we can hear it is exactly what, what we did here. Mm. Mm. And then we can hear, yeah. hear the whole universe. For sure, for sure. If anyone has any questions now or just wants to share on how that related to them, we'll open it up to the collective now. I'm sure everyone's got a lot to say. And again, welcome all the new people here. Um, where's, uh, where's Joe? Wow. It usually helps me find people with their hand up. Um, yeah. There he is. What's up? I'm looking around. I don't uh, see anybody at the moment, but I'm going to keep my eye open. Um, I can tell you, Dr. Kim, for me, that was phenomenal because you spoke, like you put into words a feeling that I've had pretty much my entire life. You know, you just, you have these knowings and these understandings about yourself deep down inside. And then the naysayer pops up and it's like, well, <laughs> If you think that that's the way it can go and you think that then it starts telling, saying all the naysay stuff. <clears throat> and I let that rule me pretty much my up until just recently. And just recently, I finally, and most of the people who are on here know me, know that I just, I finally just let go and made a change that I needed to change in my life. And it was such a, a release that it allowed for so much, like it immediately went from feeling like I had no possibilities at all to like a, a gate flung open and I was like a, f a field of just absolute infinite possibilities have happened. And the wildness thing about it was, is that the only reason I stayed in the vein and the lane that I was in before is because like to you said, like this societal thing that we have with collapsing and the structures are collapsing. It's because my whole life, I used to look at like my mother or my father or my uncles and I'd watch these people work like 60, 70, some, some 80 hours a week. And some made a lot of money, some didn't, some lived paycheck to paycheck. And I would watch this and I'm looking at their lives and I'm like, what is this? This is just so, doesn't, it didn't register to me and it makes sense. And I used to say to my family, like this whole thing with like working all day, every single day first in a job that you don't like to just have like a weekend where you finally let go. And then sometimes the weekend doesn't show up because you have to use all that extra energy to take care of the stuff that you couldn't take care of during the week. For your normal life I was like does anybody see the ridiculousness in this so I finally left my job and once I left my job I was like I was like oh my god I want to help people now all of a sudden I have like all this energy to just help freely too somebody asked me to do something for them I'm like sure what do you want me to do and they'll be like hey you want some money and I'm like no I don't I'm, I'm cool and actually I should be taking the money now because I don't have the job but I'm more willing to do stuff for free for people because my time actually feels like it belongs to me you know, so magical. Every, it's magical. Whatever you do, what, however you just said, I'm so glad we record this because that, <laughs> that right there was literally just like in a box describing, I think the shift that has to be made is that people need to realize, I think we created a system and we need to override the system now. And that's like, I wrote it down. It's like, um, you have to, in, what did I say? Embracing before understanding is like, like, overriding like you're overriding the system because i feel like the system wants to understand and then once you override it that's when the embrace comes in and you can actually let go it sounds it sounds oxymoronic because override doesn't sound like let go but it actually it seems like it is you know <laughs>
that's thank you so much that was dope that's all i gotta say <laughs> dropping mic fire the type of stuff <laughs> and i can just say from observers of uh like just from observing you joe like you have put into place everything that dr D diorama just explained and as a result of that all these infinite possibilities are starting to sh show up in your life mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and that's just miraculous you're inspiring me to want to do more of it myself mm -hmm. so who else wants to uh to, to ask a question or just share? Somebody on the chat. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, great. Let me um let me unmute. Eight four zero two zero zero. Uh, go ahead. Hi there. Thank you so much for putting on this program. And um, Dr. Kim, I'm also so grateful to you. Um, I have a question. I actually uh, believe I had COVID and I've been recovering. It's been like four and a half months from some chronic fatigue. Anyway, years ago, I recovered from chronic fatigue completely 20 years ago using meditation and acupuncture. But now I've been doing a lot of Abraham Hicks stuff. And um, anyway, I found your videos and your book, Mind Body Toolkit, and it's helping me more consistently stay in the vibration that we need to stay in to attract healing. And I am, I am healing and I'm doing much better. And I know I'm, it's helping me stay more confident more of the time that I will completely recover and have radiant health and strength. But my question is, um, how, how, how is the quickest way to re- wire the brain because i know that we from previous patterns of thinking um we create you know certain patterns of thinking in our brain that we can change through neuroplasticity so i was just wondering i mean i, I do use your higher elevation tool um but i i was wondering if you could just speak to that for a moment what's your name sweetheart oh it's lee niddle L E E L E I G H. L E I G H. Yes. How old are you? I am 52. I think I stopped counting after 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I'll answer the question and then and then share a little of, of what's going on in your system. So that the fastest way to allow that uh, shift in the brain, where what we call neuroplasticity, the brain has the ability to change its arrangement of how neurons are wired together and fire together and create habitual patterns of actions and thinking and feeling. And the, sh the fastest way to allow that shift is um, by allowing an increase in frequency in your body. This creates a very powerful and immediate electromagnetic shift, which is why I call it the instant elevation not the work real hard on it for a while and you'll eventually get an elevation. There's an instantaneous shift that happens in our electromagnetic field that immediately allows a new, energetically anyway, a new alignment in the brain, in the thinking, in the pattern. It's like you changed the station and now the brain accesses higher awareness, higher information, higher consciousness. It's only a matter of kind of time to let that integrate physically where those neurons sort of establish new pathways like new train tracks of thoughts and patterns through the brain so the instant is we can access higher thinking higher consciousness and there's a release of the old structures and then it kind of reorganizes around a new pattern a new structure not in the same solid train track, here's my new conclusion, patterns, but in an arrangement of openness, in an arrangement of perceptivity, I'm, I'm perceptive now. So it's not, let's change these beliefs into these beliefs. It's actually a new uh, alignment where the body is a receptor for higher awareness. Um, for you to access more of that, um, just release the identity of this chronic fatigue or illness or whatever, or just um, that that's what you're doing, that that's who you are, or that that's what you're dealing with. That was a part of your journey, and it was a moment in time where 
that was the experience and it really has nothing to do with who you are now. So when you let that go, there's just, oh, I show up in the present moment with curiosity and presence what's here. So that will allow your journey to be a, a, a much more expansive one now. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I've tried to never really own that, you know, which is why I think I recovered in the first, the first time. Um, my, I had a very smart acupuncturist who said, you know, never say my blank, never do that, you know? Um, and I know that a lot of it, I think, is because of um, suppression of feelings. A lot of your journey has been very similar to my journey, except I stopped I decided not to go to medical school right before getting, you know, being having the chance to go. But um, but but the way that I suppress things, keep going no matter what, you know, all of that. So I've been I'm working on that and working on feeling everything and not being afraid to feel everything. Anyway, I don't want to monopolize. So thank you so much. Bless you. Bless the people who, um, who, who put this on today. And I'm just sending you all my deep love, my deep gratitude. And, um, and I hope that everybody on this call has an amazing healing or transformation in, 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 the, in, the, in the most specific way that they need. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was great. Um, so I don't, does anyone else uh, have any questions? I want to ask you before I forget, just how can, I do see a hand up, but uh, before I forget, what's the best way for people here to get close to you, like learn your stuff? You know, uh, uh, a lot of ways. I'm at drkimd.com and there's like a quiz right up front that will bring you through a little bit of awareness of where's the best place to start or maybe what are the biggest patterns that are ready to dissolve for you and then some resources. Um, how to, how to release that now, how to move through that. Um, so drkimd.com and there's like an orange button at the top if you want to do the quiz. Um, we mail, you know, we're always like, I'm doing lots of videos and communicating. So we email to c connect, to share resources. Um, my YouTube channel is really active. So I'm at Dr. Kim Duramo on YouTube and you can subscribe there. And then if you're in Facebook, the mind body community is my community. So it's a free community. Um, there are lots of really beautiful people in there on various journey, you know, parts of their, their journey and awakening from like victim. Why is this happening to me? I'm my fibromyalgia, my chronic fatigue. And like, like um, Lee just said, like you own it as my ailment uh, who are beginning to see like, huh, how is, how can I open to let something else be created? And then um, others who are like, this woman was in a wheelchair for years and years and years and, and just started walking. <laughs> so she's like posting these pictures of like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And has had really an extraordinary journey of embracing this work and letting her body shift and change. So um, I love my community and that's in Facebook, uh, Mind Body Community. You can join that for free. So those are great ways to stay connected with me and, and, uh, and play. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Everyone go check those out. Um, I see... Pamela's hand up, so I'm going to unmute Pamela. Pamela. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I am totally thrilled right now. Um, this, this is amazing. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody um, for, for putting on this um, uh, like mini, mini seminar question and answer ses session. Um, I'm, I'm new to Dr. Kim and I adore you. <laughs> and I can't believe that I'm actually talking to you right now. It's a miracle. Um, I, I had a question that I was thinking about yesterday and wondering how I was going to get to you personally and then look at this today. Is that amazing or what? <laughs> yes. I have several 10-plus um, medical conditions. And um, my question is, when I look at that from the outside world, 
I feel overwhelmed and like, how am I ever going to heal all of these things? Yeah. And I, I guess I would like to know what your suggestion is on that or what you think about that. And what's your name again? Uh, it's Pamela Cole. It's C-O-A-L-E. So, um, so it's really interesting because when we see the body as purely physical, there's 10 different conditions. This thing is happening over there in your liver. This thing is happening in your gut. This thing is happening in your immune system. Uh, but in reality, um, it's one thing. <laughs> it's okay. your pure energy. And all of your cells are responding to the frequency you're in. And they'll respond in different ways. But if the frequency you're in is disharmonic, which comes from, you know, physical, mental, or emotional, any of the above, right? Like maybe there's physical toxins and your body hasn't cleared them. Um, whenever I've seen chronic illness that's not getting better, 100% of the time there's been mental and emotional stuff in place that keeps the physical body from moving through that fluidly. Okay. And so if the mental, you know, like belief systems, right? Like I'm not good enough. I have to do more. I've got to buckle in and push harder and blah, 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 blah. Or even a simple thing like, oh, life shouldn't, life doesn't come easy. I've got to work hard. I've got to prove myself. Or like there can be a, a bazillion things. But that um, creates an energy. That's an energetic frequency. And, and you don't have to dig too much into all of the different frequencies. If you just feel into um, ease or peace, um, I'm trying to get in a better light so people can see me. <laughs> that feeds a new harmonic to the body. So if I just put my hand on my heart and remember, I am already whole, what would it take for me to access that? Okay. So not, not answer the question, but be in the frequency, not answer, not get the answer, be in the frequency of the question. That creates a really powerful shift that is lighter. So oh, what's wrong with me? How am I gonna fix these 10 different medical problems? Am I gonna need 10 different doctors? That's an energy. So feel the energy of that. It's like, ugh. The energy of that is, um, you know, there's lots of different pieces, but let's say powerless. If I'm in powerlessness, there's that energy, then it's gonna create having 10 things that nobody knows what to do with and nothing I try is getting me better. So that would be the experience that would match it, but it's just an energy. And so if I can be with the energy that my experience or illness is trying to bring up and meet it like, oh my God, there's profound powerlessness. I got to run away. I got to fix. I got to see a person. I got to see a healer. I got to da, 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 da. Oh, wait, let me just do the relax and breathe to be with what is. There's powerlessness. So get curious, feel it, witness it, soften into it then it releases, even if only 2% releases, all of a sudden it's like, boom, how about this thing? There's a homeopathic that's going to like rebalance your entire system and you have no more symptoms. This is not atypical. This is very, 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 very common, almost the norm. That's what I see. And yes, there is deeper and deeper layers of that powerlessness that can keep coming up and experience will come to help you clear even more of it and even more of it, and even more of it. And there's, yeah, more robust health, but there's also shifts in your relationships, and your money, and your flow, and your work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if we can get curious and go within it, it looks like 10 separate medical conditions, but whoa, what's the one thing that's under all of this? So we enter the body, relax and breathe, feel what arises, so just do this now. Okay. Feel into those conditions, the symptoms you're having physically, the way that you're feeling emotionally, feel it's in the body now. The body can only exist in the now. There is no past and no future. It is not real. It's now. What's happening now? That's what's real. So let your body bring you into the moment because what's to be shifted is showing up right here in the moment. So just take a few breaths and tell me what you feel when you tune into this. 
I'm I'm feeling um, a lot of sadness. Perfect. Okay, and there's overwhelm. Yes. So let the sadness move through. If I remember, I'm powerful. I don't have to understand it. Just put your hand on your heart and tell your system it's okay. I'm powerful. Tell me how this experience, what, what comes next. Keep breathing. Breathe big. Breathe in light. Breathe in light. So nobody ever told you how powerful you are. And you've started to believe you're really incapable and powerless. So even just letting that much sadness and grief and despair come up is overwhelming. But if you remember, like, no, it's okay, I got this. We're all here with you. Breathe a little willingly right into what's arising. Yeah, it is sadness. Okay, good. Let it just come right up. Don't be afraid of it. It's just energy. Just breathe big. These are the things moving out of the collective. So you're, this is not about you. This is just an energy. I'm, I'm having some fear come in of um, not being able to do this, not doing it right. Good. Good. Notice. Just <laughs> notice, notice, notice. Hand on your heart. Yes, sweetheart. I love you. Yes. Tell your system, yes, all, to all of that. Welcome it in. I feel fear in my gut. Good, let it keep moving. Perfect. Notice it. Notice it in a way you've never noticed it before. It's always been there. Presence, what's, what's arising? Breathe in light. Yeah, tell your body, just put your hand on your heart and tell your body it's okay for me to access this light. It's okay for me to access this light. Good, and just relax your body and keep letting the breath come through. <sighs> I'm not really feeling anything. Okay, keep breathing. Breathe light through your body. How old are you? I'm 61. Okay. Okay, you want to try a little bit to just let this integrate even more? Sure. <laughs> okay, so just put your hand on your heart. This will benefit everyone. Okay. It's okay for me to create myself anew. It's okay for me to, I'm to create sorry. Myself, to create myself anew. Okay. It's okay for me to create myself anew. It's okay for me to let the old one go. It's okay for me to let the old one go. It's okay, sweet girl. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Perfect. It's okay for me to welcome all of this, of all of who I really am. It's okay for me to welcome all I really am. I can never truly lose anything. I can never truly lose anything. It's okay for me to welcome this grief. <laughs> it's okay for me to welcome this grief. Good, so breathe, sweet girl. So the old world is falling away. <laughs> no life in it. So... Let this experience move through. Something very powerful is emerging. So there's a little disorientation when we're like, I don't even know who I am because I'm no longer this limited self. So just witness that and, and nurture yourself through that right now. Okay. So let your system know it's okay for me to let something new emerge. It's okay for me to let something new emerge. That feels very unfamiliar. That feels very unfamiliar. And to soften and let it in. And to soften and to let it in. It will guide me. It will guide me. It's okay to let go. It's okay to let go. Good, so just breathe through that. 
You're beginning to know who you are. So this power is bigger than you've imagined. So when we bump up against these huge energies of grief and or fear, it, it can seem overwhelming. Like, no, 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 I have to shut down. But it's an old conclusion that we're not capable of moving through it, that we're not enough. You, you, are, you can access a lot more than you've accessed before. Um, thank you so much. Do, do I need to get a hold of somebody to help me through this? Is this something that we can do on our own? So, so two things. There are, lo there are lots of resources, beings, people um, that will assist your, your journey, but this is not a big thing. You can take the next 20 minutes and sit with this and breathe. And just remember one thing only, I choose to allow my power in. I choose to access my power. Just that and relax your body and this will transmute. Okay. I have spent my whole life taking care of other people and I don't really know who I am or what I like or anything like that. Yeah. That's the fear that's coming up. So you don't have to have the fear of the unknown. It's right there. It will move in smoothly and guide you. And you can just let your system know it's okay to let in who I really am. And okay. That passion, comfort that part of you through this and this will move. But this is this will be very um, swift. And you know what? This is like more than I could have ever imagined. I was going to reach out to you through like maybe Facebook Messenger or something like that. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get to you to ask you this question. And now look at this today. It, it's just amazing. Mm. You just needed to remember that you truly do have access to this much power and this much light and this much possibility. Mm. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Kim. I'm going to sit with this for the next 20 minutes and, and see what happens. So. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. You with inspire me. You inspire me every day. <laughs> you're not only beautiful on the outside, you're so beautiful on the inside and you radiate such joy and energy and you make me feel good every time i watch your videos so you're just wonderful thank you so thank much you. thanks for receiving it yes and thank you uh to the group you guys are wonderful so <laughs> have a you, wonderful Pamela. day thank you <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you for yeah. coming on and getting vulnerable we uh we love you and, and we do this twice a week um where we move ourselves to that hard space every wednesday and sunday so you're always welcome, uh, Pamela. And Great. Oh I'm going to write that down. I love that sound of healing. That was beautiful. <laughs> uh, who else Thank has uh, you. some questions and wants to, to share on how this is related to them? We have time for a few more. Don't be shy. Oh, Jen awesome. Jen S. Yeah, sweet. Um, Jen S. I'm going I want to make a comment on, on what just happened too. Like you can feel how it could be easy to let that much come up and then think like, okay, where do I go to handle all of this? And that comes from powerlessness and separation. If you remember like, oh wait, go back to that, to that core. I, I have access to infinite power. It's in the now. I can meet this now and allow it to transmute and I, I I there is that much available to me so just soften into that cuz that's the birthing of the new world we're creating and the new world we operate in unity we can know things we didn't have the ability to know right like as a doctor how could i know what's wrong with you unless i do a bunch of tests or spend a lot of time with you or whatever like but in seconds i can know exactly what's going on how am I letting myself know that? It's through unity consciousness to let myself know like what will create the most here, what will allow you to come into health and wholeness. So in this new world, it's the more success is going to be from more like Kyle's had with this group. Like, wow, I had Christian Das come and perform and I've had amazing people and I've had people spreading the word like this just came out of nowhere. There's synchronicity, there's effortlessness. So if, if he's willing to be in that effortless space of the unknown, he accesses all of that synchronicity. 
And that's what we're doing here. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Kim, the, uh, before I forget, is what you just guided Pam through, is that is there a name for that or is that just kind of like off the whim? Because could our members find that somewhere? It seems like it was sort of a meditation and a practice. That There's a, a way I work with people in groups. It's called Embracing Health. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of that, I guess you could call them processes of communicating with the body and communicating with the cellular, you know, with the DNA mm -hmm. um, that's, it, that's in that. But um, any of my programs kind of, use that same consciousness oh. so it's it's not a i'm not going to trademark it <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though thank you i uh, look forward to diving into that jen welcome to the quantum healing collective hi thank you all so much for um, inviting me dr kim i'm so so excited to be with you um the question i have is pretty basic but yet i can't <laughs> not going in um we talk a lot about surrender and allowing. I guess I, I have trouble knowing how that's different from resignation or just giving up. Such a good question. Mm -hmm. This is such a great question. So surrender and allowing is a very different frequency from resignation and giving up. Resignation and giving up comes from, I can't have it, I'll never have it, I might as well stop trying. This is where most people live, it's duality. I work my ass off, never give up, make it happen, or, ugh, that's just too much work, resignation. Both of them come from a point of powerlessness, both of them come from separation. I'm separate, broken, not, not whole, both of them come from a point of the small self, you know, the self one, and neither of them are true. So if we can find the third option, which is in neutrality, in the space of unity consciousness, I already am that which I'm seeking, there's a third option that emerges. Now, that can't be arrived at through the mind. Where's the third option? Where is it? I'm looking hard enough. What do you mean? I've tried everything. What are you talking about a third option? We can only arrive at the third option through that softening, going within, relaxing, breathing 2% more willingly into the experience. So if I'm at that crossroads of like X or Y, and both will feel low frequency, surrender to third option. So that's the instant elevation technique. So just like relax your shoulders. And there's like videos on my YouTube on that. There's a whole program I created on that. But just surrender and to soften 2%, soften in your body. If you're in an argument with your spouse, if you're in a situation that's like, oh, this isn't working, soften your body, breathe more fully. You'll witness magic happen. So for that point, you will see the third option emerge, which may be an action of like, oh, just call so-and-so, or oh, just do da-da-da. Usually, you, you've got to sit in that energy a little bit for that to emerge, and most often, there's no action required. The shift just happens as a result of the softening. When I soften, I just allowed my frequency to increase because resistance, oh, I, I don't have this thing I want. I got to either bust my butt for it or just screw it and forget the whole thing. That's a resistant frequency. It's a lower frequency. So even if all I do is, I have no idea how any of this works, but let me just pause and get curious and take a breath that alone increased your frequency. So you cannot try to increase your frequency. I do, a, um, I didn't mention this, but I do a Wednesday broadcast live, like what we're doing now in the Mind Body community and Facebook um, every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. We've got some replays for the summer because I'm traveling, but there's one on this on how curiosity creates healing. And it's kind of this process, like there's no third option here. There's A and there's B and what the hell are you talking about? So how do I let something else come in? I've got to like move into just pause, 
curiosity, like, huh, what else could it be? That's enough to let the frequency increase. Your electromagnetic frequency just increase. Thank you. I um, I'm very much, I think like you talk about yourself being previously where I, I always have to try to figure it out and understand and uh, the thought of, of surrendering, it honestly feels scary. Um, yeah, it feels scary. So uh, anyway, I appreciate Fine. you. That's a sure sign that the energy is moving and clearing space for the ease to come in and the possibilities to come in. Thank you. Yeah, so courage, Jen. Mm. Thank you so much, Jen. <laughs> Perfect, beautiful. We have time for uh, one more, if anyone wants to uh, ask a question. Hey, Julia W. Oh, awesome. Where, oh, actually, I see two hands, so we can get to both of them. Did you say Julie W? Julie W. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm looking. Da, da, da. Must have passed you, sorry, Julie. Uh, I cannot find Julie W. <laughs> Hold on, bear with me, guys. Sorry. Oh, there you go. All right, awesome. Go ahead. Julie, uh, I asked to unmute you. There you go. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that meditation. And thank you, Dr. Kim. I cried through both. Um, I have a similar question about surrender. Um, I turn it into a work. Um, I turn, you know, letting go and surrender into a work. How do I, how do I surrender to surrender? That was hard. I did the same thing for years with I'm trying to heal myself. I'm trying to heal myself. Just got worse. Hmm. D sorry, d I d didn't want to cut you off though. Did was there? More no, that was the question. How do I, how do I surrender into surrender, or how do how do I, how do I let go of making letting go mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. to work at. Yeah, okay, the, the biggest thing is that when there's somewhere to get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna relax my body so this thing changes. Um, it's different from, I'm gonna relax my body so I can enter my experience more fully. So one is resistance. Mm. I wanna go away, I wanna make this different, I wanna, there's somewhere to get. And that's what's happening in your system. So there's nowhere to get, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, oh, it's gotta be better than this. All right, if there's nowhere to get, then surrender is no longer a means to an end. So now it's <clears throat> surrender slash curiosity slash softening for the purpose of softening and then i can witness what happens as a result with curiosity openness surrender instead of trying to make my objective happen which is attachment and resistance hmm. is that is that getting is that getting is that hit it well, it makes total sense it just sounds like i'm gonna work hard now to try to do that <laughs> Yeah, so let go of the outcome. Letting go of the outcome. Like you're not gonna, there's nowhere to get. You can only be where you are more willingly. Okay. That, that's one of the things in the, in the embracing health work that's been for a lot of people the thing. Because you're like, I want to heal my chronic fatigue. I want to heal my thyroid. I want to heal my gut dysbiosis. I want to get out of depression. So it's like, oh. Huh? Mm. But if I am more willing to be where I am as I am, mm. that increased my frequency, just that alone, to be where I am as I am. And so the softening is to choose that. Like um, Jen just said, whoa, that a lot of fear just came up. And you could hear it in her voice, but you could hear the beautiful, beautiful essence of her coming through who's sharing the insight of a lot of fears coming up. She's letting it be seen as opposed to what happens for most people. <gasps> nope, nope, good, we're good for now, thanks anyway. 
a lot of fear came up and they weren't willing to meet it. And they have to shut the door and shut it down. So she was like letting it emerge. It's super big, but you are bigger. So surrender, you have no idea what's gonna come through. And if there's an agenda, I'm trying to get, you're trying to get somewhere. So be where you are instead. Right. Thank you. Yeah, that there's nowhere to get that made me cry immediately. So that's, that's gonna have to be my, uh, my mantra, I think. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That was fantastic. And uh, one member that we had on, um, her name's Lisa Natoli. She has this 40 day, it's a course in miracles, like power course. And it's very fantastic for getting you to just be the light, just remembering who you are naturally. <laughs> Um, in addition to obviously all the stuff Kim D mentioned, but that's a, a really powerful 40 day class to just get you to step into your true essence. So I'd recommend that for you. Um, Lori, I see your hand is up. Hi, good morning. Um, just, it was just a lovely way to start off a Sunday morning. Thank you so much. Dr. Kim, thank you for posting it. So I was aware of this. Uh, I always love hearing uh, what you have to say and your wisdom. It's always inspiring. Thank you so much. Kyle, um, your meditation just really uh, resonated with me. I absolutely love everything about it. The sequencing and the music. And I'm wondering, um, do you have a replay? Will there be a replay of this so I can <laughs> listen to everything again? There was so much to take in today. Yeah, so we will, uh, we will this is recorded, so I'm gonna um, send it to Dr. Kim and she can post it and then we'll post it. And then in regards to the meditation, um, we do this every Sunday, this specific meditation we do every Sunday, the Wednesday night meeting we have, uh, there's a little different meditation. And then I just got to give a shout out to um, Todd Norian. So if you type in on uh, YouTube, Todd Norian Bija, um, this is one of our guests' music that he's let us use. And it's really powerful. I don't know what it about. is. I yeah, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that music was incredible. Yeah. It so was. Joe Dispenza uses that meditation music uh, for he, he uses that music for his meditation. So that's how we ended up reaching out to Todd and asking Todd if we could use it and have him on the show. And it's made a big <laughs> difference. I, I honestly find that music to be my favorite. So I'm, I'm yeah. so glad that you, uh, you came on and en enjoyed that, Laurie. Any oh, it was, it was wonderful. Yeah, so every Sunday we have a different guest come on and um, every Wednesday too. And we always guide in a heart coherence meditation to raise the frequency of the group. So I would love it if you came back. If you oh, enjoyed I would, thought in your Sunday I would that absolutely way. love to. So it's the same time every Sunday? It's the same time every Sunday, uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 8 p.m. Um, on Wednesday. And basically how we work is this is a collective. So this is everyone's group. You come in, you have ideas. This is your group too. You know, everybody that's here, this is truly everyone's group. So make of it whatever you want. If you have any speakers you recommend, let us know. <laughs> um, it's, Same, um, we're evolving together. And we're also on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and all those places. So, so join, good. Join, <laughs> yeah, join us and, Let's have fun together and let's grow together as a community. So, so would it be the same um, password and same meeting number? Yeah, we use the same. Um, we okay. use the same Zoom each meeting, and then we also do a monthly guided meditation with uh, this guy Brian Scott, where we get like a hundred people to come on here and do this very cool meditation. And then uh, we also have special events. So, all right, thank out. you so much. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone have any other questions or? Um, want to add anything dr kim do you have any closing words <laughs> i would say closing and hi Lori. i didn't have hi. that was you for so exciting i i would say uh remember your power and know that um everything you're doing and moving through those moments of 
of fear or like um the things that are the unthinkable like whoa there's no way you're doing it for for everyone you're doing it for the planet right now not just you yes you will receive the clearing and the the space that allows all the of you to come through uh but it's your you, this is where we're creating a new world, a new, a whole new society with new systems for, for all of it that are really aligned with our nature. Our nature is love. Our nature is co community connection, compassion, not what our old society was built on, which was fear. So that's all that's happening. We won't create the new world from the consciousness of the old world, which is why you can't power your way through law of attraction and creating a new reality and ah, i'm gonna i'm gonna meditate every day and make myself do it or like what um what julia said like making and work out of it 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 can only emerge through us from surrender or from you know just be in harmony from soften it can't emerge from us from that old consciousness so trust the process even though this seems like super chaotic and super like oh my god i have no idea what's happening this is a big we've been waiting for this forever and for a lot of us we're like when's this gonna happen well this is part of it this is happening the old structure is falling away but new ones have already been emerging I and mean, this is not like from they're, they're already here it's it's letting them come into your life and letting them come into your reality and then letting your system create for you what is your world, what you're here to be in it and who you're here to play with and how you're here to express, let it guide you. Thank you so much. And uh, so we, we close with a prayer. And just before we turn over to the prayer, I, I want to thank you. Dr. Kim, that was fantastic. And know that if you ever need anything, like the Quantum Healing Collective is here for you. If you ever, you know, think of a way you want to use this group, it's your group too, like I said. So um, I'm very, very grateful for today's meeting. That was fantastic. And I'm going to have Joe follow up with you to, to see if you can be on his podcast. So <laughs> I'm now going to uh, unmute Kristen, who closes with our prayer. Thank you so much, Dr. Kim. That was beautiful. The speaking, the live process, all of your words. You know when something resonates as truth? Like it's just, it's just that you get that truth vibration and it, it's just a harmonic of speaking the same language and the elevated frequency of what you were sharing. It was, it was just incredible. So thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank you so much. And I absolutely love how you continuously address the collective, right? Like this, the healing work that you're sharing with your community and our community, it, it, it's for the entire collective, the oneness, and you just address it so perfectly. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kristen. Um, so with all of that energy, all of that collective field, that, that love frequency, the elevated consciousness that Dr. Kim brought to our collective today, we take that energy and we dedicate the merit of this meeting to all of those who are awakening at this precious time. May our efforts to better ourselves help shift the planetary consciousness from fear into love. May this energy ripple out into the world and awaken those with closed hearts illuminate closed minds and inspire all to live within the presence of compassion and generosity. Thank you guys. I hope you all have an incredible day today. <laughs> guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.